after a not too long, like five hour flight, we made it here, but the best way to get over any jet lag is the Blue Lagoon. So we're gonna head in and check out this phenomenon. The Blue Lagoon is close to the Keflavik airport, so it's easiest to visit after you've landed in Iceland. And it seriously does help jet lag. This is so wonderful. <sighs> it's possibly the best way to start a trip. First day of Iceland. Um, we made it here with our GPS not working, which is super impressive, but... So our GPS ended up not working the entire trip, which is a whole another story. But here at the Blue Lagoon, you can go to the swim up bar for smoothies and beers and wines and everything you need to start your trip. And then there's the mud mask, which has secret powers to make you turn beautiful, we'll say. Do a little mud mask. Word to the wise, it's not edible. The Blue Lagoon is pretty big. We ended up spending about two hours there, which I think was perfect timing. Definitely recommend going early in the morning or late in the evening to avoid the crazy midday crowds. So that was Blue Lagoon. A little bit touristy, but definitely worth a visit. For more on the Blue Lagoon, visit www.thewonderlostway.com.